Welcome, everybody, to Out of Compat, the podcast for after the show that we have live streaming on Twitch and YouTube, Casters of Cantrips Campaign 2. My name is Moobs Like Jagger. I play Azric, and I'm joined by Mac and Cheese, please, who plays Taj. And we have Virtual Spectre, who plays Hayden. And we just wrapped up episode 54. And I feel really bad. <laughs> I know. So for those of you that don't know, y'all, we just ruined like a whole crew's life in a way. Like <laughs> we made their captain seem like a really bad person. And everyone on the ship now has to either side with the captain and stand by the ship or abandon their captain which also makes them look bad. Like, no matter what they do, they look bad. We, Feel bad. Yeah, well, we successfully completed all five tasks that Captain Blackbeak gave us. So now we're we're 5,000 less in debt to her. Uh, which is good for I, us. <laughs> I, as, a, as a player, uh, it's tough. I feel like we're the bad guys. <laughs> we're we're doing cool. so many bad things. We're ruining lives, and uh, yeah. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Who well, am I? What would have happened if we didn't do any of the things that we did? Like, what well, what would have happened if we just said no? Uh, probably either uh, probably die, or at least she would try to kill us mm -hmm. for disobeying her the campaign could be a lot shorter <laughs> <laughs> it ends in a week <laughs> like we could try to run or something but she does have a pirate fleet so well, i guess she can have no island well to make us feel better we did it out of self-preservation right like we did it's like us or them kind of thing and as a player not as the character like you feel bad for all these lives that you're ruining and like there's like real consequences to these actions um and so yeah i, I definitely agree that like i don't feel good after this i'm like oh god <laughs> let me take a shower or something yeah that's that's kind of how i feel too like at playing as the character i'm like pirate i'm a pirate Pirates do shady stuff all the time, especially if they are trying not to die. So like, and in character, I'm like, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, as a player, I'm like, hmm, this is the opposite of how I am. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't like how we're becoming, you know, as a as a crew. But yeah, like being a pirate means survival and you're always surviving and trying to survive. So it's just like. It is what it is in pirate terms, but yeah, it kind of, I do feel bad for all the, I, I think maybe Max does a great job to like make these NPCs feel alive. So we're mm -hmm. feeling bad for these characters. So I think mm -hmm. Max does a great job doing that. But. Oh, Huge boy. rose on Max's part to make us care for the character. Cause like at the very end, I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll take a stupid cape. And then he's like, oh yeah. And then you asked, is it magical? And when he said no, he's like, no, someone probably personally made it for him. And then I'm like, dang it. I don't want it. Like, <laughs> not just because it wasn't magical, but also because like someone personally made it for him. Like, I feel bad. Yeah. I mean, he, when he was talking about like, oh, he has a little bit of gold and whatnot. I was like, I think at this point, Hayden would probably be like, damage is done. Like, I don't need his gold. Um, but then he mentioned the spell book, and I'm like, yeah, Taj, take, take, the take the book. Take the book. <laughs> and that's where right. I was kind of torn. I was like, do I take the book? Is is there a tracker on the book? Could we, could somehow, could this come back to us? Because I do have a spell. Let me look up the name of it. I don't know if I've had to use it yet. Um... Oh God, where is it? I don't know the name of it, but essentially, um, I just think of an item, any item, and within like a five mile radius or some crazy number, I I'll know exactly where it is. Oh, locate object. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think is that a, you have access to that spell right now. 
I either have it or wait, hold on. Let me look at my thing. Do, 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 do. Cause I was reading it. And so, um, because I was looking at it during the time of like the orby situation, if the orb got mm. taken from us, I was like, well, then I'll just know where it is. No big deal. You know? Um, uh, but I, okay, I actually don't have it. I thought I I took it. I could have sworn I. You can copy yeah, it. Now. Now you can learn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I wonder what I took instead of that because mm. I, I was like ser- like con- seriously considering it. You know what? I might have taken clairvoyance instead of it. Ah, uh, um, yeah, yeah. I think Which clairvoyance has been super might helpful. have felt we've used it so much. You know. Yeah. So from a little I know of like wizard stuff in D D is like their spell books that's their entire life's work like every spell they've learned and or found or come across goes in there and they like protect yep. it with their life yeah uh so it's very possible he has some spell on it some way to track it so uh that's why i was like how long does this take like i don't want to have this book for very long without his book though he can't cast any spells that's true so even if Not he, even had once that he ability, has prepared, uh, I think maybe can they? Wouldn't he just need his spell focus? Yeah, what happens when a wizard loses their book? <laughs> I don't know. I, this is my first time playing wizard, so like, this I've I never only come across sorcerer stuff, and I don't know how many stories are told of a wizard losing their spell book. I've never came across this before. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, they're not sorcerers. Like, they can't just manifest the spells. Mm-mm. And they're not, they don't work like warlocks. Can, I, can they okay. cantrip stuff? You, Maybe? Are you Googling it? Yeah, so according to Google, uh, any spell that they had prepared already, they could copy into a new book. But any spell that's not prepared is gone. Just, just gone. So just assuming he didn't have that locate object prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Max already said he had fly. I didn't take... This is the first time I didn't take fly. I took a spell that I have yet to use. And I'm like, I I have it prepared almost every time because I really want to use a stupid spell and I've not used it once. So, if you guys want to know what it is, I'll tell you. Oh. The secret spell that you haven't used yet? I haven't used yet that I took instead of fly. Is it really cool? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to fucking tell you guys because I want you to know (laughs) it's spider climb. Oh, and it's, it's so good. I, so under so it says until the spell ends, one willing creature you touch gains the ability to move up, down, and across vertical surfaces and upside down along ceilings while leaving its hands free. Target also gains a climbing speed equal to its walking speed. I feel like Taj got annoyed at how long have you had that? Was that like a recent one? It's a level two spell. So I've had yeah, it for like a Taj very, very, annoyed. very long time. And I uh, always have it prepared. You wanted that to cast been... that on Hayden at one point and I like ran away somewhere. Yes, <laughs> that's that. right. I remember that. <laughs> so I did use it then. No, you didn't. You were Taj was annoyed because she wanted to use wanted it. Oh, uh, okay. And, but Hayden decided to do because you were telling, I remember you're like, Hayden, come here. So I, but then Hayden. Oh, because I was going to give it to you. And then you just was like, nope, I'm doing this thing. (laughs) (laughs) uh, I remember now. That's good. Yeah. But if the dude has fly, then I can make all of us fly. So that would be fun. Thank you. Um, Yeah. This is definitely one of our more interesting, like, episodes where we kind of went, pushed further into, like, the immoral side of things i know so i want to ask this and you can reveal as much as you want because we as a as players still don't know a lot about each other's characters backstories Mm -hmm. how even though they're pirates how does azric feel some level of like disgust by what we're doing does Taj feel some level of disgust by what we're doing or is this I I don't know the backstories is this like something they're fine with generally or is this a bit much even for them to I mean for Azric he's had 
a pretty rough upbringing and then uh he just never had it easy so it's all and being born sickly I mean, she's always been struggling always trying to survive that's mm-hmm. what Avers all been doing and and that's all he knows he doesn't know anything else uh he doesn't know how to like really live but like we we keep getting in these situations where Azric has to continue to keep surviving like mm-hmm. when we come back to the cove and Blackbeak's like do these things uh and if I don't become uh, if I don't get voted in uh it's going to be your fault so then Azric's motivated by fear cuz he would just probably straight up kill us or just mm-hmm. killed me or for the captain Azric. Uh, so now he's just like, again, I, I am forced to survive and I have to do what I have to do. Yeah. So, uh, maybe. Cause we I never just... actually met Mira. So maybe he might feel a little bad because she was like, not a bad person. She's like a good pirate, but I was going to ask because there's different levels of like, I guess, brutality and villainy among the pirates there's some more yes they're pirates they steal but they're generally like mira seem to be like a respected individual and then there's blackbeak who's just villain like just she's fierce. just yeah. brutal and harsh and would has zero problems because she gave us these things to do so i i didn't know because i don't we're not keen on your character's backstories, if any part of their background makes them kind of like ick at a little bit at what we're doing or not. I'm trying to get a little, so some background here. <laughs> I read my personality traits to the girls, but I don't think you guys have, have I read them to you? Oh no. Okay. I, I'm going to read my personality traits, my ideals, my bonds, and my flaws, and you'll very quickly know the kind of person Taj is. So my personality traits, I lie about almost everything, even when there's no good reason to. I pocket anything I see that might have some value. Flattery is my preferred trick for getting what I want. And then my ideals, um, I'm a free spirit. No one tells me what to do. Bonds, I owe everything to my mentor, a horrible person who's probably rotting in jail somewhere. And then my flaws... I can't resist swindling people who are more powerful than me. I'm convinced that no one could ever fool me the way I fool others. Mm. So that's Taj. Like she doesn't like she grew up on this island. She doesn't care. Like, you know, it it just is what it is. Like another day, same thing. Like she's going to get what she wants. Okay. So me as a player, I feel bad. My yeah. character does not feel bad. Yeah. My, my character rests somewhere similar to to Azric's. Like it's about survival at the end of the day. Is how Hayden looks at it. He he understands there's like you can be the best of the best, good boy, or you can be totally evil, but. There's most people fit somewhere in between and Mm -hmm. are just trying to survive in a harsh world. And he fits kind of in that where he, if he needs to do some messed up stuff in order to preserve himself or people he cares about, he's going to do it and he's not going to cry too much about it. Yeah. I think Taj is more like, like she's chaotic neutral, but in it for herself. Like, She's going to do what she's going to do if it benefits her. And at this moment, Blackbeak is threatening our lives. So fucking over five different groups benefits her. Yep. So she doesn't die. Yeah. And also she owes less money, you know. I mean, yeah. So Azric's very driven by power. So, I mean, Blackbeak is probably the pinnacle of pirates here in the cove. So like. And we're under her wing, so if, if what's good for Blackbeak is good for us. So if she wins, we win because we mm-hmm. are part of her armada. So I put, I, I'll share with one, you guys one or two of my character flaws for Hayden. One of the flaws is uh, refusal to character flaws, or not a flaw depending on how you look at it. Refuse to blindly follow orders, and that pisses off many people that he's come <laughs> across. <laughs> So there's a little bit of that sort of like, I don't care 
who you are. I'm going to side with you if I think what you're doing is going to help. If you're just a blowhard, like, I don't care what your status is. Kind of like the, that's why he's like, I'm not putting clothes on this dude. He's like a nobody. We can just leave him <laughs> naked on the street for all of <laughs> <laughs> So. Yeah. Uh, but there were some fun parts. Uh, like, Mac, your performance as Marlon was fantastic. It was beautiful. Well, when you have the way Max was like going all at him, you know, and I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta do it too. You know, it's such a fun character. I felt it would have been a disservice not to, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. And then uh, I wish we had a, like a side adventure with Gunther and Graves, the, the new like odd couple. Okay, but I love the names like Graves. That's so fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. I I don't know if I I pulled that from somewhere. Like, I love the it. name immediately came to my brain, and I don't know why. It's just sound pirate. Yeah, no, it's my favorite. I love it. <laughs> uh, we could we could probably do if we. I don't know. Yeah, maybe our characters. Still, it makes it really hard with. Emmy and Cooter because they're so nice and naive and we're like just kind of we're not like super cutthroat but you know we're, we're in it Us for ourselves. We are more of like the uh, like how, yeah. how would tonight have went if Emmy and Cooter were here? I was just going to ask that. Would this, would this have gone slightly differently had their input kind of shaped things? I very well could have uh, especially yeah Emmy she would just maybe she blurted it out. I don't know. That's hard to say. They weren't here, so we can't. They weren't here. Yeah. This is what happens when you leave like the three like chaotic evil, not evil, <laughs> not chaotic evil, but just like chaotic players together, you know? The three most piratey of the group. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, but that, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, VS that Hayden is kind of like, he's got to do what he's got to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, uh, you've learned a little bit about from him from what he's told you. He's, he lost his parents at a young age and struck out on his own fairly young, just working on various ships through most of his late teens and into his 20s. So he's been around. He hasn't didn't work with pirates necessarily, but it was like, you know, sea worn dudes who are like come from all over with all different backgrounds. So he's learned of, from a bunch of people. Ocean's harsh. Yeah. yeah, Max. So it's really yeah. This is this is a tough campaign. It's just like we have very challenging characters. Where mm -hmm. Ron was so simple and one sided. So sim, yeah, like <laughs> a huge dichotomy. So simple, so different than all the our characters that we're playing now. Um, yeah, I think everyone's characters are so. Different. I was actually just thinking about like this campaign and its differences with the other campaign and um what we're like a year and a half in. Yeah, Something I like think that. So. Yeah. It's de definitely a testament to like the difference in campaign setting, uh us being more experienced playing the game and willing to sure. take more risks with how we play our characters. Like first campaign, relatively simple. We're on the side of whatever the good is. And so we might have complex backstories mixed in, but we were the good guys. This time yeah. around, we're like, not. We're, we're like, no one's revealing anything. You know? <laughs> yeah. We're secret. all like really secretive. Yeah. Well, and this is, I think my first campaign, like blatantly being the bad guy, you know, like, like we've done bad things where I think most parties err on the side of good. Mm -hmm. Like ninety percent of the time, it's tough being bad. It is. It's it's like morally hard as a player because you're like, I am not my character. I am not my character. But like, yeah. I feel bad for the people that we just fucked. Especially <laughs> this particular like being it's pirates is like everybody's extra sh shady, you know. Like, yes, nobody wants to reveal their secrets because you know it could lead to somebody betraying you or whatever, sure. you know. So, I yeah, don't know. Like, this is it's fun, man. Yeah, because uh, Azric and Taj share backstory, 
We do. I, we'll never reveal what we did to the crew. Like, <laughs> like even if you pry or poke word, nope, never, never gonna, we're gonna deny it. Unless something happens that like really forces our hands, and uh, I don't think that the, the crew would know what we did. Right, exactly. And the crew is not exactly doesn't have a reason to really press you on that right now, because yeah, I don't think they, not, I don't think it would come up. It, it came up once we lied, and it yeah. never came up again. Like it has, it has no reason to come back up. Mm-mm, because we're all kind of more or less on the same page of what we need to do right now, and it. That doesn't factor in at all. Yeah, exactly. Agreed. Unless there's something from your past that comes back to haunt us. I'm I don't know. I'm so, I'm so intrigued with Hayden's backstory. I wish we could go to Oshamaram and, and find out. I want to go to Oshamaram. <laughs> I've been talking about like my character, there's a house there. I, I want to go what's in the house. Yeah, we <laughs> wanna, should go. There's so I much we, there's so much we have there's to so do. Much. It's like there's no way we're gonna get into everyone's story. Mm-hmm. There's no way. Like I, we, who the hell is Cooter? Like, what is her deal? <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's right. How are we fifty four episodes in and I don't know anything about Cooter? Some nomad old lady that <laughs> we wants upon. to know history, but why? <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that we're gonna wrap up this episode out of combat next week. <laughs> We're going to get into the aftermath of all the terrible things we've done for Blackbeak and mm-hmm. and see if she gets voted in and starts demolishing everyone because we 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 chose evil. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much Fine. everyone for listening and watching and uh make sure to come check us out on Twitch and YouTube Casters and Cantrips. Uh we li- uh, the show is live Friday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific and 9 Eastern. And take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. Nerds.